a majority of my in-game time spent on RuneScape is on PvP worlds. Whether it's on my PvP locked hardcore Ryman or just PKing, I spend almost all my days on PvP worlds. And today is your lucky day because I will let you follow me on this adventure video where I spent almost one month in PvP worlds. Hope you guys enjoy. And as you can see here in the first clip, I was roaming around in PvP world when I spotted this guy in Bob's shop in Lambridge. And there's only one thing you do here, you repair Barrow's armor. Please man, he says. Dead? What was that? Wait, what? So full good dance, full Barrow's. 348k? Yo, look at this! It's 2.6 mil! That's it? That's actually depressing! I very rarely find someone repairing Barrow's armor in Lumbridge, but when I do, I get extremely excited. Okay, he went. He's trying to repair. Okay, I closed the door in case he wants to run. He's dead? Yeah, he's dead. He could have cash deck on him. Oh, police, please. Oh, there's Derox. There's Sterox, Barrows, cash deck. Three mil, let's go, yes. How much is that? Barrows have went down in price so much. Six mil though. So I was looking for rank one PVP hard crime and Finn when I found someone else. There was a guy fishing south of Chambers of Zerik. And if you look closely, as soon as I show up on the screen, he logs out. And after investigating his account, I found out he is a hardcore Iron Man in a PvP world. So I decided to wait there and he logged back in and instantly logged back out. So now that I know that I'm dealing with a player who is as quick as a machine, I need to focus. And the best way to focus is by wearing my GMG performance glasses. And luckily for all of us, GMG happens to be today's video sponsor. A few years ago, I got a lot of headaches from sitting in front of the computer for just too long. I was scratching my eyes all the time. And then I started using GMG performance glasses earlier this year in January, and all the headaches just suddenly disappeared. Because of video games or work, or other reasons to be in front of a screen, our eyes are overexposed to blue light. And GMG performance glasses are there to act as a shield against the blue light. This helps reduce eye strain, it definitely helped me with my headaches, and it also preserves the quality of your sleep. And for this Black Friday, GMG just released a new generation of glasses, which is more resistant and effective against blue light. I got this pair, which is my favorite, and I also got this pair right here. And if you are interested in a pair of glasses, you can use my link in the description down below for a 50% discount until November 29th. And now that I have my focus glasses on, it is time to outsmart him. I tried to slowly peek in to see the spot he was fishing at, but as soon as I peeked, he logged once again. But that made me realize that he is constantly dropping fishes on the ground, which I can see from outside of render distance. And knowing this information, I can scout outside of render distance so he doesn't log and still see where he drops his fish. And therefore I know his location. Please don't be thin. <gasps> I got a TV. He's auto logging, he doesn't deserve this. Good fight, sir. I pay, he says. For those of you who aren't familiar with PvP worlds, there are a lot of bots with automatic logouts plugin enabled to avoid getting banned. And I think this guy was doing the same thing, but he was doing it on a hardcore Iron Man. A stupid idea because there is ways to get them, as I just showed. Thought he was safe because he used auto logging, but he was wrong. Drink vodka was wrong, and now he's gone with 1700 total level. Maybe I would have spared your life if you weren't cheating using a cheat client. And now that he's dead, back to peeking on PvP worlds, and as you all know, I love scouting on multiple accounts at the same time. Oh, he was here! He's at KBD! My prediction was correct. I don't really know why he's doing KBD on a PvP world, but when I see loot, I take loot. He's gonna die. But let's suspect. Dead. No. Hey, why, why is he not dead? There we go. Let's go. My prediction was correct. 
896k. Thank you very much. I think he's actually going to go. Yeah, he's going out. He's going out. Oh my god. Almost dead. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. LOL, he says. Oh, huge. Tom, I have a new profile picture for you. One second, one second. My face in that picture, bro. And this is the profile picture he wanted me to show. <laughs> All right, I got 1.5 mil and a new profile picture. There's some guy here. His stats are so much better than mine. Oh shit. Wait, Ballista? Oh fuck. I know, right? No way. He got me. Oh no way. I'm so I'm so bad at this game. Oh, I got a regear and everything. <laughs> That's depressing. I recently participated in a YouTube series by Soup, uh, which was Gilinor Games. And for participating, we all get some kind of split. Uh, and I'm gonna find out how much I got now. And with the money, I'm gonna shuck it versus Kevin Frame. Are you ready for your split of 150 Ooh, million GP? 150 million. Thank you very much. And he's all not right. scamming, Whoa. all right. I'm not scamming, yeah, as far as you know. <laughs> Look at all, your, all the viewer money what being staked right now. No way, you what got 150 mil. Pit? Let's see who the better Gilinor Games guy was. Come up, oh, no, no way. I got paid by- What a- What? Oh my oh. What? God. <laughs> I'm broke! Oh no no way, that's not even oh. fun. It's the most no. one-way stake no. of all time. Kick Is that death. another uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't later, even brother. close. Wasn't even close. I hate this game. Don't gamble, people. One place I love scouting more than anything else is the Ferox Enclave on PvP Worlds because you have so many different types of people coming around here. And just recently with the Rev Caves update, there's a lot of PKers coming here as well. 5, 4, 8, we saw a guy. Oh, we got a TV. Can't wait for this burger. Oh, it's okay. Did I kill him? I killed him! <laughs> 269 nice. XP drop. Wait, how is that more? 3 mil? Oh, it's the staff and the tome. Oh, there's a delay. He's dead. Yep, I've been to the block. Log oh my god, we got out. Holy shit, I could have died. I don't think I got everything as well, but uh, we made 2.9 mil from that. Drop party content! There's BGSs, there's 100 or 200 mil worth of items in there. Oh, I got a dragon fire shield! What's that? A whip? It went down in price 2 mil for our DFS? Alright. Ew. I just killed this dragon. Wait, I got a fury from this dragon. I just PK 2.6 mil from that. Is that? Yeah, good fight. Shemming is down. Good fight. Oh my god, look at the clan! <laughs> I killed one of them! He's dead! <laughs> Alright, sorry. He just died to the sand crab. I had to wait and watch that happen. He doesn't have any gloves? He's dead. Yep. DH is down. After many hours of waiting, there's a cash deck right there. 782k.
I don't think he picked up all the loot. Look, <gasps> we got the loot. I didn't even kill him. I got the dragon crossbow for free. Thank you. He shouldn't be dead here. Yep, he's out. This guy's trying to save him. Won't work. Wait, bullies. All right, one mil. I'll take one mil. Thank you. And I think that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We did actually spot a Zora bot farm doing Zora on PvP worlds. However, by the time I had completed the necessary quest to reach Zora, the bots were gone and I missed out on so much loot. And if you did enjoy this video, can we get some likes? I'm looking for specifically 3,333 likes.